Good morning, dear students. Well set for GSC studies. Today we are going to start chapter three, named Nature of Matter. Simply, we can say habits of material present around us. This is the real meaning of this chapter. Can you interpret the picture given above? If your answer is a burning matchstick, this is a burning matchstick, then you are very correct. As you are observing the smoke coming out during burning, going around and finally where it will go, have you done it in real life? If not, then do it in presence of your parents. You will find that finally it will mix with the air. We will discuss broadly about all such type of characteristics of material later on in this chapter. Now, dear students, you are going to visualize some of the materials or objects that are present in our houses. For example, a copper vessel filled with water, a steel tumbler having milk, steel plate, glass tumbler, a plastic bucket, your bag containing many objects like books, notebooks, sharpener, eraser, scissors, pencil, etc. And some of the th things you can see here are the part of our school like table, chair, computer, pencil, all the boys and girls when the schools are open, the common sight of ours. Now, why I am showing this, these materials to you? Because our today's topic belongs to this. I want to study each and every material that is shown to you. But is it an easy task for me to study the nature of each material that will consume more time? Then how can we make the study of these materials easier? That is given at page number 34 of our chapter. Our chapter starts from this page. This page will explain us that how can we make the study of materials easy. The simple answer is by putting them into groups on different bases. And the second topic also belongs to these materials that is what is matter we will also discuss activity number one of this chapter that is given at page number 35 and at the last i will left you behind by giving you a simple task to write five examples each of what i will tell you at the end of my topic let's see the first topic of ours as I told you earlier, this is not an easy task for an individual to study each and every material present around him. So how can an individual make its work easier to study each and every material? Answer is by grouping the materials present around on different bases. For example, the first base is the color. Here in the box we are watching the marbles of two color blue and red so if someone ask us to group these marbles what we will do we will keep the blue marbles aside and red marbles aside in this way we can study this blue and red marbles very easily second base here you are watching in the box Color is not the base there, size is the base. Why? Because these marbles are of two size shown here in the box, the smaller one and the larger one. So, if someone asks us to divide, we can divide uh, into two groups. Here, uh, you are watching page number 35 of our book. At the top, the paragraph given just explains you that third base is also there to divide the materials into group that is on the basis of 
occurrence a list of materials is given there for example wood water air glass tumbler steel plate milk plastic bucket kerosene etc out of these we have to divide which are naturally occurring and which are made by man so here i pasted the picture for you by making the use of technology simply you can write the name of the above given objects into the particular category for example wood water air milk and kerosene they will come in the natural material and the remaining will come in the man made material so now is it clear to you that on the basis of occurrence materials can be divided into two categories man made materials that are also known as synthetic material and the natural material on the top of page number 35 this paragraph is having the definition of both types of material you can say first of all natural material that occur naturally and examples are well known to you soil air water etc and man made material also that are made by men here the activity number 1 you can write down the natural material on the left hand side column and man made material on the right hand column in this way we come to the conclusion of this topic dear student that what is classification answer is the process of grouping of materials or objects according to their similar properties is called classification the base may be the size shape color or occurrence here i am going to take the next topic of yours that is what is matter all the materials present around us like the books or the computers or the pencils or you can say everywhere the material present is made up of a matter what is a matter a matter is anything which occupies space and has some mass as we have already studied during fifth class what is matter anything which occupies space and has mass and on the earth matter exist in three forms that are solid liquid and gases now we reach is up to page number 36 at the top a table is given and you are asked to write down five examples each of solids liquids and gases so today we will conclude the topic here the remaining topic will be taken tomorrow keep doing your homework well bye bye for today dear student have a good day